Uh, turning now to I Team 8, Indiana has given the green light for most, but not all, counties to put bird feeders back in their yards. The DNR is keeping its warning in place for 16 counties, including Marion, Hamilton, and Johnson counties. The summer of confusion is having an effect on some local stores as well. I Team 8's Jasmine Miner is here to explain. Yeah, you guys are absolutely right. If you're a bird lover, Wild Birds Unlimited is your place to go for all birding products. But with the mass songbird deaths, there is not very many buyers buying those products right now. Still, the store may be not hitting their usual quota, but they're still doing a lot to educate. It does have a link on there for where you can record if you do see anything, whether it be illness or death. They're not here to buy anything. I'm completely out of season, so I'll just, I'll just put a little bullet in Instead, just learn how to help. They come to us as the local expert to help help figure out like what's going on. What can we do to help the birds? Wild Birds Unlimited says they've seen a big decrease in customers buying since the announcement of mass songbird deaths in Indiana and across the country. Store manager Gina Janasso says it's been hard on our customers who made birding a hobby during the pandemic. Having the interaction with us might have been their only time out that day um, just to come pick up their bird food. They're mystified, they're baffled, and they're taking their feeders down. And for some, they say it's their only interaction at all. We're getting those phone calls. We're getting those people that are walking through the door and just like, when can we, when can we feed the birds again? And really, we don't, have the, we don't have that magic date. No one does. So what do they do while they all wait? They come up with resources. That's always been a huge part of our marketing is not just product, product, product. It's been education. Wild Birds Unlimited Chief Naturalist John Shaw says at all locations they have handouts on the to-dos and not to-dos from the Department of Natural Resources. Not to mention their website has videos of best practices from the National Wildlife Federation and several articles on what to look for or how to report something. We're definitely seeing less people walking through the doors, no question about it. Uh, but that's all right in the sense of it, we've got to do what's right for the birds right now. Places like Marion and Hamilton County are still under a ban from putting out bird feeders, but the store is doing what they can as bird lovers try to remain patient. That's what makes this time of year such a special time for the hobby of backyard bird feeding. And so to miss that right now for a lot of people is, is really disappointment. Well, while it's a good sign that some counties can resume bird feeding, no one knows yet what is causing these songbirds to die in the first place. That is the question we have all been asking for weeks now. We're going to keep you updated exactly when we find out. I'm Jasmine Miner for Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.